Welcome to Northern Lights over Arkham. I'm JP and this time I'm continuing the side B campaign of the Dream Eater cycle, the Web of Dreams, in Point of No Return with Dexter Drake. Uh, the last two scenarios have ended in defeat, so in the first one we got defeated by Horror, and in the last one we got defeated by damage, so not going <laughs> as planned, but let's still continue. I managed to get 7 XP from the last scenario, so let's look how I upgraded the deck. I upgraded both of the shrivelings to level 3, and also I added adaptable into the deck. That is because I was finding that Dexter really needs more arcane slots so I can get the <laughs> Mist of Relay in the play because uh, Dexter is struggling with evasion. So I changed the what's this skill cards into sign magics to give Dexter more arcane slots and because the hand slots are not that contested with this build. Other than that the deck remains mostly the same, so no big uh, changes to the deck, it worked pretty well in the last game, but as I said, the evasion part of Dexter is uh, really, really <laughs> proving to be hard. Okay, but that's enough of the deck, so we are playing the point of no return scenario. I still have to add the clues to the locations and also the connection tokens that I apparently forgot to put down before I started. Okay, so this is a quite long and hard scenario again. It's a really big map, so let's see how, how Dexter does. I think getting Leo down fast to get more actions to move around is quite important. So let's see how we do. Um, as a side note, I've added one damage token to the uh, scenario card because uh, we have one tally mark on the steps of the bridge counter so that makes uh, certain things more difficult in this scenario so we already start with one okay but that's enough of the scenario and the deck so let's get going if you like my content hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything I have pre-shuffled the deck, so let's draw our opening hand. We get Leo, uh, drawn to the flame, David Renfield, mists and quick thinking. Okay, uh, I think I will keep Leo and Renfield. I don't think I'll need Drawn to the flame that much. There's only one clue everywhere. I think I'll keep mists and shuffle the quick thinking back so we get two more cards. We get Molly, so we <laughs> we really have a lot of allies. Let's shuffle the cards back into the deck. I think I'll have to search for some ways to get clues, so I think Molly will be important to get down right away, so we can start looking for spells. Okay, uh, so as the first action I'll play down Molly. Oh yeah, I haven't even put the resources down. So I have Molly in play. 
I'll use Molly right away. I'll add one horror and exhaust Molly. I'll search for a spell. So let's see what we get. Uh, well, we get three welling. No, at least we have a fighting spell and an evasion spell. Now we just need to find a spell to do dami uh, spell to find find spell to find clues is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Uh, second action, I'll play down uh, Renfield. Uh, I'll add a Doom and Exhaust Renfield. I'll get one resource. Uh, last action. I think I will... Just get a resource. Yeah, I'll get a resource for the last action. So that's my turn. I'll go to upkeep. I'll draw one card. It's the read the signs. And I get one resource. So that is our turn. And let's go to the next turn. We add one Doom to the agenda. And draw the encounter card for this turn. And it is uh, lit by dead fire. It's a hazard. Revelation, each investigator loses one resource. Each investigator at bail or depth location chooses and discards one card from their hand. Each investigator at depth location loses one action. So I'll lose one resource. Okay. Mm. I will use Molly. I'll exhaust and add one uh, horror on Molly and I look for a spell. So let's see what we get. The spells are really deep in the deck, apparently. Okay, nice. We got the sixth sense. Let's shuffle the cards back into the deck. Mm, then I'll use Renfield and put one Doom on Renfield. I get two resources. First action, I'll play down sixth sense. Second action. I'll investigate. So I investigate 6 versus 3. Elder sign. Actually, I think uh, Molly has done most that I need her to do, so I'll return Molly to my hand. And draw one card. I get the Derringer. And we succeeded, so I get the clue. Something needs to be done, but what is the question? I think I'll move to the plane of gold. Yeah. Oh no, uh, before that, this is a veiled location, so let's check the veiled story. So I look for a guest enemy. Just take that. And it spawns there exhausted with one clue on him. And that's that. 
then we'll move here. Okay, so that's the turn done. Uh, enemy phase, nothing happens. Upkeep, we draw one card and we gain one resource. Okay, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add another threat and the encounter card is rotting remains. I'll test this six versus three. I won't commit anything to it. It's a zero. We pass. So nothing happens. Oh yeah, and this gold guest would have read it. Okay. Um, uh, we use Renfield. Add another Doom. And get three resources then I'll use Dexter's ability we discard Renfield and can put Leo into play and it costs only four we get an extra action and that wasn't even an action yet I I think I will take a couple of resources. And play down Shriveling. And last action, I'll investigate this location. I will commit read the signs to the test. So I'm testing six versus four. It doesn't succeed, get a minus three. And this hunting guest in the enemy phase moves to our location, engages us and deals us one damage and one horror. And I'll put them on Leo. Okay, that's the enemy phase done. We go to upkeep, draw one card and gain one resource. And that's that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We get another Doom on the agenda and the encounter card is Whispers of Hypnos. Choose a skill. For the remainder of the round, each investigator gets minus two to that chosen skill. You cannot choose a skill that has already been chosen. I'll choose Agility. Okay. Mm. First action. We will shrivel the guest. I'm uh, five, six, seven versus two. Without zero. So this guest is dead, and after an enemy with one or more clues is defeated, take control of it, those clues, so we get that clue on the cast enemy. <sighs> Second action. I think I'll investigate here. I am uh, five versus four. I get an elder sign, so I'll change to investigating this location and using that shroud. So it's a minus three, but I'm uh, investigating against uh, two, so I'll get this clue. 
and if uh, we wouldn't succeed by two or more uh, we would need to ready and exhaust the enemy and move it to our location but there's no enemies in play so that doesn't matter um, we have three clues just thinking should I play something or get resources. I think I'll just try to investigate again. I think I'll commit Molly to the test, so I'm 7 versus 4. I don't think we need Molly anymore. Uh, minus 4. We didn't succeed. Just try again and use our base skill of wipe five wheel against four, and we get a zero. So we get this clue, and we'll flip this. So if the investigator possesses at least three clues per investigator, the investigators must spend three clues. I'll spend them. As a group, advance the current act, flip this card back over. Okay, so we advance the act. Choose an investigator to take control of the set aside Richard Upton Pickman story asset for the remainder of the scenario. If Richard Upton Pickman leaves play, remove him from the game. Put, put it set aside Veil location into play. Find each card from the striking peer encounter set. Even if they are out of play, remove them from the game. Shuffle the set aside Terror of the Whale and Night Clones encounter sets into the encounter deck along with the discard pile. Okay, so again, there's so much uh, setup, so I'll pause the video and we'll get back to the game once I'm done the setup. We'll right back. Okay, so. I put the Richard Upton Pickman asset into play. He basically gives us the ability to exhaust uh, Richard Upton Pickman and choose a goal enemy at your location and attach it to him. And I can use this to fight. Uh, so he's basically building a goal army. Uh, we have the veil locations here in the play. So Next up, we need to find our way to the Sea of Beach. And I still have one action, so I'll just move into the veil as a last action. And that's my turn. No enemies. This gets discarded at the end of the round. I'll get one card and one resource. Not the clue, a resource. Yeah. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add another Doom. So 4 of 5. Encounter card is on Wings of Darkness. I uh, think I will use a Board of Protection to cancel this. I'll take on Horror. And that's that. I think we'll just start investigating. So, first action. I'll investigate here. So, 5 versus 3. It's a 0. Get on clue. Investigate again. 5 versus 3. It's a minus one, we get the clue. And this is another availed location, so we watch what reads here. So I look at the top two cars of the encounter deck. You may discard up to half of those cars to do the rest on the top of the encounter deck in any order. And I can't flip this again. So I'll see what we get. We get the Dole Tunnel. And an unexpected ambush. 
Nicole. Get rid of the dull tunnel. Okay, discard that and we have an unexpected ambush coming our way. And I'll move to the next location. Yeah, let's go here and investigate. So investigate, investigate, move, investigate. Five versus two. It is a uh, elder thing. So again, it's minus three, but I still succeed. And we have to flip this over. If there is no dole tunnel at this location, search the encounter deck and discard pile for a dole tunnel and attach it to this location if able shuffle the encounter deck. If, if slittering doll is in play, move it to this location and add two clues on it. Otherwise search the encounter deck and discard pile and victor display for slittering doll and spawn it at this location exhausted and with two clues on it. So I'll search for the dole hole. the old tunnel and let's find there's the slithering doll so I think we'll kill that next turn it has fixed three points and we'll have two clues on it okay so now we don't know what's coming from the top of the deck also here it's exhausted and it has two clues on it and there's this dull tunnel here okay so enemy phase nothing happens upkeep phase is ready engages us uh, yeah. and we get our actions one card and one resource okay that is that turn let's go to the next turn uh, so we add another doom so the agenda advances we shuffle the discard pile into the encounter deck and add one damage to the scenario card Okay, so we have a new threshold of 4. This is the last card, but there is a hint on the card that even if that card runs out, it's not necessarily the end of the game. Okay, and the encounter card, yeah, we need to shuffle this again. A lot of encounter deck shuffling in this scenario. Okay, uh, we draw. Hunting guests. Not the not the card I wanted to see. So we are getting swamped by enemies. Uh, okay. Uh, well, I think we'll kill the slithering doll first. So first action. I'll use the shriveling charge. I'm 7 versus 3. Elder sign. Uh, I won't take anything in hand, but I'll draw a card. It's another Dave Brenfield. So I do 2 damage onto the slithering doll. I'll use the shriveling again. Second action. Seven versus three. It's a skull and it's X axis the amount of damage on the scarred, so it's minus two. I still hit and do two damage. So we still need one damage and I'll 
actually use the shriveling to kill this hunting ghast next. Uh, the reason is because I only need one damage here. I will be uh, discarding shriveling and putting the derringer into play with Dexter's free ability. So that way, even if I don't succeed by it more than two, I'll kill the dole off. Okay, uh, so let's see if we can the guest. It's a skull, so minus two. He killed the guest. And then I'll do the Hocus Pocus. We discard the shriveling. And we can play the Derringer with minus two cost as a free trigger ability. So a little sleight of hand from Dexter there. And we will shoot with our last action on the dole. So I'm five versus three, <coughs> actually. I will use uh, quick thinking to this test. So I'm six versus three, just in case we get enough that we get an extra action, because then we want to move closer to the whale. It's a plus one, so we succeed by Enough. This is killed, so we get these clues. And this goes into the victory display. And with our extra action, we'll move to Crack of the Ghouls. I don't think we just need any point to go here. Yeah, there's <laughs> only agility test, so uh, Dexter won't go climbing the peaks of Tok. Just go there. So that is uh, all of my actions. No enemies. We go to upkeep. We get one card. Get the uh, painkillers. And one resource. And that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Okay, let's continue by adding a doom to the agenda and drawing an encounter card. And we get. A dull tunnel. Uh, I think I don't want the dole coming out again, so I'll use the water of protection to this. So we cancel that. And I'll get one horror. And that's that. So, first action, let's move to the Vale of North and investigate at the moment. I'm not in trouble with damage, so I think I'll commit painkillers to this investigation with the sixth sense. So I'm six versus four. Oh, yeah. Actually, while there are clues remaining on Vale of Knot, investigators at Vale of Knot cannot play cards or commit cards. Okay, cancel that. So, I'll just investigate 5 versus 4. It's an auto fail. Let's try again. It's a minus one, so we succeed, we get the clue, and let's check what we get. So, if investigators possess at least three clues, the, investigates, the investigators spend three clues as a group, and we advance the current act. We flip this card back over. So we advance. We put each set aside depth location into play, we shuffle the set aside descent into the pitch and 
agents of Atlak Natcha encounter sets into the encounter deck along with the discard pile. So again there's a bit of setup to be done, so I'll pause the video and continue while after I've done the setup. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I put the depths locations into play. I didn't bother with the connection locations because these all are connected to each other and to this location. So that's that. And the uh, encounter cards are in the, uh, shuffled into the encounter deck. So we have to find the source of the distortion and we will be instructed when we advance. So I have one action left. I'll move to the first of beach location actually yeah I'll just go to the first one and that is our turn no enemies we go to upkeep we draw haunted and we get one resource okay that is the turn we go to the next turn uh, we add another Doom, so two of our Doom, and the encounter card is uh, Pit Spider. Any C of Pitch location, empty if able, swarming X, X is the amount of damage on the scenario card, so it's two. We add two. Let's just put it there, and an empty location if able, so let's put it there. Okay, so first action, I'll investigate, so the shroud in these is the amount of damage on the scenario card, so it's uh, shroud 2, so 5 versus 2. It's a skull, and it's a minus 2, so we uh, pass. We get the clue and we get to see what's underneath. Okay, so we got extremely lucky because if the investigator possess at least three clues, the investigators must spend three clues as a group, flip this card back over and advance the current act. So we found the right location right away. So we go to resolution one and resolution one is for each damage on the scenario reference card record one tally mark next to steps of the bridge in your campaign log so it's two each investigator earns experience equal to the victory x value on each card in the victory display uh, it's one two three four five six seven so seven experience and we continue to the last scenario, the Web of Dreams campaign, the Weaver of the Cosmos. Finally, we managed to pull out a win of a scenario with Dexter. I think uh, the more I play Dexter, the better I'm getting at it and the better the deck is performing. Uh, the first scenario we didn't get any allies in play, that's a real hindrance to Dexter. In the second one we did a lot better when we got allies, and in this one we also had allies right from the start. So that's the game, and uh, I hope you like this playthrough, and be on the lookout for the Weaver of the Cosmos scenario next. So thanks for watching, until next time.